It's a tortilla blanket. It's funny, right? And like, you know, make like, I'm a burrito. What's going on everybody? It's Naked57, your virtual car friend. And today I have a treat for you. I ordered $200 in Timu tools and today we're gonna test them. Now, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I was a little hesitant buying tools through Timu. Are they gonna be good? Is it gonna be trash? Well, what's gonna happen? But I mean, I'm, I'm way more impressed than anything. These these tools, I ordered stuff that I thought you, the viewer, would like and enjoy, and I'm kind of, I did it in a way of a cost-saving measure. What can you guys use that you would actually use and you could save money on? Now, a cool thing about Timu is they offer free shipping and free returns up to 90 days, and as well as, as the, the prices there kind of fluctuate a lot, so if you're worried about the price dropping, if the price drops within 30 days, you can get a refund for the for the price difference. So no worries there. Now, one of these tools here, you will you will be able to get for only $1. Check out this code and QR code. Use my code. What's my code? Okay, so one of these tools here, you'll be able to buy for only $1. And I've also put together $100 in coupons for y'all to use. Use code DKT2645. It's going to be up on your screen right now, as well as with this QR code. So... Yeah, I mean, what do you say we get right into it? So let's start with what I think this is. I didn't buy I didn't buy a too many gimmicky stuff, you know, like crazy things. I bought stuff that I thought was useful, like I said, and this immediately jumped out at me. So this is a, can you guess? Guess down below. But this is a ratchet for your scissor jack. And I think that's pretty cool. So when you're jacking up the car, slide oh no mine doesn't fit oh it does fit yes so when you're jacking it up you don't have to you, you know using those that long the hook thing that goes in there this is a lot simpler go and then I mean there's no there's no freaking there's there, there's no resistance here but in the real world it would ratchet like that and you would ratchet it and bring it up Son of a... <laughs> so, I mean, it's a little bit flimsy, but it's it has it where it counts, which is which is in this direction. And I only paid two dollars for this. For two dollars, this is going to make jacking up your car a whole lot easier when you're if you're you know in a spare tire change situation. So this is very cool. I give it a thumbs up. All right, next let's go to this. This actually came with three of them. Three of them and I think six or seven different microfiber covers for it. And this is to clean the windshield of the car. You know, when you're trying to get down into the windshield or the dashes, it kind of sucks reaching over there. This sprayed on there, clean your windshield and you can get down the curves without really having to reach too far. When it gets dirty, take it off, wash the microfiber, and you've got a new one, and it also comes with spares. I got all three of these for five dollars and eleven cents. Five bucks. Put all of them in. Put put one in every single car you have. You could use it in the bathroom mirror. You know, if you're short like me and you can't reach the top of the mirror, hey, not anymore, baby. I give it a thumbs up. This was definitely not a ripoff. Okay, so headlamps. I really like headlamps. A lot of them I feel like are kind of heavy on the on the front or they'll stick out too much a lot I've had this one it was a pack of two and let's see how much I paid pack of two for $12.99 okay so you know $6.50 each I was really impressed with these so they're rechargeable you know comes with comes with a little USB it's flat let me adjust it more to my head so you have the flat the flat LED here as well as another LED there and look, like I can see in the dark now. It has bright, dim, and then the side one. For, you know, I guess if you want to try like more of a focus thing. And then a strobe, a little, no, that's not a strobe. Well, that's just dimmer. And then off. There's another button on the side that's supposed to be for a wave and it turns it on. But I haven't, I don't know, I haven't gotten that to work. Seems kind of gimmicky. But I don't care about that waving thing because this light is sick. It's comfortable. This side is a, is a little bit heavier. But the, the rubber on the inside of it, I mean, it, it keeps it pretty solid. It keeps it from moving. I was, I was super, super impressed 
with this thing. In a perfect world, if Net had it, you know, if Net had it the way he wanted, this light, instead of being a white LED, it would be, this button would turn on the spotlight and that would be a red LED. That would make this thing just ridiculous. But still, $12.99 for both of them, six bucks each. You're gonna be hard pressed to find a better headlamp than this. I was super impressed with, with this. I'm probably gonna give one of them to sit to, to someone at work and see see what they think, but I really like this. This was a this is a great buy at $12.99. So continuing continuing on the light theme here, we've got a little just a little LED pen lamp. Kind of I mean, it has a lanyard, it's rechargeable, which is which is neat. You don't have to worry about buying double A's or triple A's for it. It's pretty bright. I've got, I mean this, I've got this, this uh, ring light on right now, but it, it, it's, it's pretty bright. Uh, it's, it's light, which I kind of didn't dig. You know, I want, I want it to have a little bit more weight to it, but that's, I mean, that's kind of nitpicky. And I only paid $3.99 for it. This is, I don't think it's as great as the headlamps, but I think this is, this is great to just kind of carry around. It's it's light enough that it's not going to bother you if you keep it in your pocket. It has a little, you know, thing right there, but you can take that off if you want. And it's it, it's, it's honestly pretty nice. And I and I like I like the the on and off switch. You know, on pen lights I prefer a slider like that versus the versus a press. I don't know. That's just me. That's kind of a personal preference, but I think that's a pretty good buy. This is 40 40 gloves, right? So this is probably the purchase that I was least impressed with. Let me let me see how much I spent on this. Five ninety nine. Okay, so keep that in mind. Let's keep that number in mind. Five ninety nine. First off, what I didn't like was that it 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 only came in this in this plastic bag. There was I got you know normally they come in a in a Kleenex box. I would much prefer that. The gloves themselves they're they're a bit thin. They fit pretty true to size. You know ordering. Ordering stuff from overseas, you're you're always wondering, is it the American size or is it or is it Asian size large? And this this fits true to size. I mean, I oh look, this one has a little hole right there. But I mean, I can't say for five ninety nine. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's a terrible deal. I would probably use these gloves for light duty stuff, like uh, changing bulbs in the car, maybe putting ceramic wax on a car, changing uh, batteries on a watch, you know, stuff that you don't want, you don't want your, your, the oils on your hand to touch that, that, that it can damage it. Maybe cleaning the, the bathroom. Like I said, I wasn't super impressed, but at the same time, I only spent $5.99 for this. A box of gloves is going to cost you $20, $25, $30. So looking at it from that lens, it's not terrible. I probably wouldn't buy these again. I, I might look around for other nitrile gloves, but I can't say that I'm super disappointed. I won't purchase again, but I still will 100% use these. All right, now this I thought was a was a good buy. Let me see. Let me see what I spent. 16.99. So this is actually this is actually one of the one of the more expensive products I purchased, but you get a lot of brushes. So you get four, look at that, that's perfect. Four flat ones, right? You get this kind of toilet toilet brush one, a little flat one, and conical one. These, if you watched the Baja video, you can see what you can what, what you can use these for. Clean your seats, clean your upholstery, spray down some some upholstery cleaner, and then go at it with a drill. You know, drill and clean it. I'm gonna pro I'm gonna use these. I'm I'll likely make another video. I have a set somewhere, somewhere around here. Somewhere, somewhere in this garage, there's a set of Sylvia floor mats that I purchased that are just, they're, they're in good condition, just very dirty, and they need to be cleaned, and I'll probably do a video using these. And you know those Sylvia mats they had? Oh, I think they're right there. Yeah, so these Sylvia mats right here. Good condition, just dirty. This one has some gum on it, and now looking back, I'd seen like a little mini steam cleaner. I think that would have been that would have been perfect to try to see if we can get that gum off. But these will make quick work of mats like that. Stay tuned for that video. Uh, but for seventeen ninety nine, you're getting you're getting a lot of brushes, and they look pretty good. Oh, and then this is a, an extension. What have we got left? This one, pretty simple. Couple straps. 
So two two forty nine for the for this two piece set. And you look at this and it's like, oh, what'd you get that for? You know, Nat, that's kind of that's kind of weak. Stuff like this is things that people take for granted. Immediately, I thought of this. I'm using my extension cord right now, so I can't show you. But hanging up my extension cord, wrapping it up, sticking it in this, and hanging it from a hook. And that's I mean. It'll do that perfectly and for 249 I can do too. I mean you could do other stuff with it too, you know rope My wife actually said oh, I can I can use this at the gym I'm gonna put it on my on my ankles for the for the the cable machine I was like yeah, you know, I guess you could do that, you know, maybe not its intended purpose But it's one of those very usable products that when you get it you're gonna you're gonna think yeah I can do a bunch of stuff with this and in the same vein of that I bought these little magnetic hooks and those hooks were 99 cents, 99 cents for five of them. And the magnets are pretty dang strong. So for that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm gonna use them on my, on my toolbox. If you've seen my toolbox, it's like a metal pegboard, but those metal pegboards, they never, they don't hold, they don't hold like the, the pegboard hooks right. So I'm gonna put, put these and, you know, hang scissors, hang maybe little things like uh, that that light, that little pen light, hang that pen light on it. So I always have a pen light there hanging hanging on my toolbox. But for 99 cents, so this was 99 cents, this was 249. <sighs> little organizational stuff like that. I think you take for granted how expensive it can be. So for spending 350 total, this, this is gonna go a long way to <laughs> making my garage a little organized. Oh, gloves, back to gloves again. So I bought these gloves for five, $5.29. $5.29 I spent on these gloves and I actually was just on the, the website and the gloves are on sale right now for like $3.49 or something. $3.79, something like that. Which is a, I thought $5.29 was a good price. Uh, but these are, these are great. They're lightweight. They're very breathable on the top. Fit true to size. I ordered a large and they fit me, you know, almost perfect. There's very, very little at the, at the, at the end of the fingers. They're kind of just, you know, Fast, quick fit. I like the breathability. I like that there's good padding. There's good padding here on the palm. And I mean, for five, oh, and, there, and there's padding here on your knuckles as well. And for five bucks, I, that is, I mean, I think it's impossible to beat. Buy, you know, spend $20 and get four pairs of these and throw one, throw one in your, in your car and it's on the spare tire. So if you ever have to change the spare tire, you're not gonna get your hands all dirty. Another cool thing, I tested it. These this this black part that you can use it on your on your phone. So there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than you're working on the car with your gloves on and you're getting a call or a text and you got to take your take your glove off to to check the message. No, with this you can do it. You can do it just like this. It's not. I mean, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't go surfing the web in these. But I can I can read a text message. I can answer a phone call. I can end a phone call using this part, which is another I think great feature. And yeah, for five twenty nine. Difficult to beat. The only the only con I, I would say, it's not even really a con, it's kind of just when I first opened them and when I first took them out of the package, they had kind of a funny smell. Kind of smelled like a, like like shrimp or something, like cat treats. Uh, but I just opened them, you know, left them there in the in my room and, and they aired out. It wasn't a really potent smell at all, but yeah, it went away. And yeah, I've, I've got only good things to say. Even if, even they're not heavy duty gloves, you know, daily use, Daily hard use probably lasts you maybe, you know, just like my other gloves, like I said in the other video, six months a year. If you get six months a year out of, out of these for $5, just replace them. I mean, they, they're, I think they're fantastic gloves. These microfiber towels, eh, I mean, what can I say about that? Microfiber towels. This was a 10 piece, 10 piece microfiber for $3.99. 10 towels for $3.99. Tough to complain about that. I'm gonna, I'm probably, I'll probably keep this in the Sylvia, you know, if I ever need to clean something, wipe something down. Always good to have extra microfiber towels. Now this right here, it's a little quarter inch drive socket set. Let me let me make sure I get the price right here because I was pretty impressed with the price. It was 1085. 1085, I'm pretty sure is what is what I spent. And what we get is a pretty, pretty decent socket set here. Quarter inch drive, you get the quarter inch nut driver. You have kind of the the the, the speed one, the T-handle. Extensions, a U-joint. The U-joint is kind of, you know, it's not the smoothest, but it's a U-joint. This is this is one of those the bend ones, you know. If you want to, if if it's in a bend, I don't know what they're called. Little adapter, four through fourteen. 
I don't see any skips. And then we get a really good selection of bits, which the bits is really kind of what sold me on it because you're getting Torx, Allen, screwdriver bits, flathead Phillips, and they give you they give you another three little Allen Allen keys right here. So you can have kind of a complete set. The fitment on the extensions, you know, not the greatest, but it's $10. This is a fantastic trunk set. Buy that, throw it in your trunk, never think about it again until the day you need it. And then you'll be really glad it's there. The ratchet, actually, the mechanism sounds good. And it's, I was thinking it was gonna be very tight. It's not, there's very little back drag. Button, you know, ball retention on on there. So don't, nothing, you know, nothing to worry about on that end. So yeah, like I said, get that, throw in your trunk and everything about it again. If you don't have tools, spend $10 and get yourself a very nice beginner set that has a lot of stuff, torques, you know, things that you won't, you won't really think about that you need until you need it. Or, you know, I have a backpack. I have a backpack that I take to the junkyard. Fill it with tools. It's, it's, well, it's filled with tools that are my doubles. That my, it's my, my junkyard set, right? So I'm going to put this in there and I'm going to take it to the junkyard every time I go to take things, take things off cars to the junkyard. The thing that impressed me about this was the versatility of it. Now, that code I gave you at the beginning, you can get this for $1. $1 on Timu <laughs> using that code. I mean, I thought $10 was a good price. Wait, there's more, $1. How can you argue for $1? That is a great, great, great price. Look, this, this for $1, right? These gloves for $5, and then this for $2. Under $10, I don't think you can beat that trunk kit. Buy these things, throw them in your trunk, and you'll either never look at them again, and not worry about it, or you'll need them, and you'll be so happy that you spent under $10 on this stuff. Oh, and even a better trunk kit, look, I also got this. I got this for my son, it's not a tool, but this, <laughs> it's a tortilla blanket. It's funny, right? And like, you know, make like, I'm a burrito. He loves it, it's very soft, very cool. So, your $1, $1 tool kit, $5 gloves, $2, and then the tortilla blanket. Ultimate trunk kit right there. So throw in this, that, those gloves, and then the tortilla blanket. You got unbeatable kit. I think the tortilla blanket was like 11 bucks. Very funny, very cool. Oh, I'm talking about another thing I got for my family. This, it's like a ground beef smasher. My wife said she always wanted one. It was only two bucks, and she's gonna use it tonight. I think we're gonna have tacos or something. And then this, this light I also got. This is something that I needed. This ring, kind of a ring light. It's shaky right now because that's not the fault of, of the of the lamp. Don't don't blame it on the lamp. Uh, this this table is not ideal for clamping things to it. But this I was re really impressed with. I think it was like thirteen dollars. Now it was made for a cell phone. It has like a clamp, you know, to hold a cell phone and you know make a vlog or something. So I kind of took a chance on it. I didn't see anything else about being able to mount a camera. Took a chance. And it turns out that that little clamp fits perfect for the GoPro. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. It's great for that and for $11 or $13, however much it was, I think it's a great buy and it's something that I'm gonna be using probably every time I make a video. Washers and hose clamps. Something that kind of everybody, everybody always needs and they never have. So these washers, $4.49 and the hose clamps, $9.99. So $4.99 is basically what you're gonna pay for one small pack at the auto parts store. Same thing with the hose clamps. So now for $15, the price of three of those packs, I have hose clamps and washers for the rest of my life. They come in a nice little box, very little to semi big. Hose clamps, I mean, what can I say about hose clamps? I like the case. These are the ones everyone uses mostly, the little ones. But for $15 for both of those, I'm gonna put them in my drawer and use them every time I need a hose clamp or a washer. I think that's a good buy, it's tough to beat. What do we have in here? Oh, soldering things. So these are, I've seen the, I've never used these before. I've always, yeah, I've seen them on like Instagram and stuff like that, seen YouTube videos. Saw a commercial once for them. So it's basically there's a little bit of solder in there and it's kind of like a, it's a, it's a, it's supposed to be a better butt connector. Came with this, it's like the wire stripper and then that to pull the, to pull the insulation off, insulation off the wire. So you strip it there and then pull the insulation off. And what did I pay for this? Let's see, $3.99 for a hundred pieces. 
<laughs> three ninety nine will buy you like five five butt connectors at, at at the auto parts store. Should I try it? Let's try it. Oh, and you know, let's while I'm doing that, let's talk about this, which goes with that. A dollar, a dollar thirty eight. Some nice little flush cut flush cut pliers or, or snips. I mean, a buck thirty eight. You can't you can't buy that. Let's see how how well this works. I, I kind of went, I kind of went super hard on it. Oh, this doesn't work the best, but it's kind of just a you know a cheapy little thing. Get my snips. I mean my strippers. Okay, so I, dang it. The gist is you push them together like that where that solder is. Needs more. Kind of scared, honestly. I don't want to burn the. And maybe I'm doing it wrong. Huh? That little bit of solder didn't melt. Let me read the instructions and I'll get back to you on this. Kind of an eh, I guess, right now. This, this didn't work too well. But it's, you know, I'm not, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it for these. For $3.99. Let me see if there's a, if I'm doing it wrong, but even if I lost 399 on that, that's not a big deal. I don't, if this is the one thing that, that is kind of a fail, no big deal. It was only 399 This though for a buck, sick. Okay, so these three, $15 for all three of these, you know, tongue and groove, water pump pliers, whatever we want to call them. I think that's a great buy. $15 barely gets you one. There's a little, you know, a tiny, tiny bit of play there, but... I paid roughly five bucks for each one. I think it was like four, five, and six or something like that. I always lose these. I don't know what it is about tongue and groove pliers that they they always seem to to run away from me. So these feel these feel good in your hand. They they're not offensive to the eye. They they look good. We all know what they look like. I think that was a fantastic buy for fifteen dollars. One hundred percent yes. Do it. Goodbye. This one, I was really impressed with. This this box right here cost me eleven ninety nine. What do you get for eleven ninety nine, Nick? Here, let me show you. That's a set of you know interior, the 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 push pin, push pin tools, and another one. This one is made out of metal. This one is plastic. That right there will cost you eleven ninety nine. Oh, what else do you get for eleven ninety nine, Nick? These freaking things, I, I always break them and I've never thought about trying to find a replacement. I, I, I'll just all use a zip tie. I am so hyped about this because there's so many of these on, on, on the Sylvia that I want to replace. It's like circles, I don't know, foam circles. But here is, here is the big deal. So this box here, this is what we get, 680 pieces of a bunch of interior push pins, exterior, like like uh, for, for fender liners, a bunch of automotive, automotive pins. Like, that is such a good deal. It's like I said with the washers and the, and the hose clamps earlier. Five bucks, six bucks, seven bucks now gets you one pack. This is almost the cost of one pack and you get these freaking tools. You can't, you can't pass this up. It even has like these little tiny things. These are like for weather stripping. You know, the weather stripping will have a tiny little hole and you stick those in there and then that's how you stick the weather stripping to the car. These, these freaking things, you know, with the screw, these push pins, these that everyone hates to take out because they always break. Well, break it. Who cares? Who cares if you break it? Because you got a whole, got a whole ton that you can just put a new one in. This is, is a, this is probably one of my favorite things that, 
out of, out of, out of, out of everything. Cause this is going to get a whole lot of use and it's awesome. Like for 1199 unbeatable deal. Probably one of my favorite, one of my favorite things. Okay. We are getting close to the end. Two more, two more things here. This, an industrial endoscope or boroscope. I like, kind of like endoscope, you know, like, you know, <laughs> but this was, let me look at the price. 19.99, 19.99 for this endoscope. I was very excited about this because I've always wanted one. Finally got the chance to get one here at a, at a pretty inexpensive price. And it's pretty nice. You know, so pic the picture is pretty clear. The end of this thing has an LED. I don't know why, but it, when you turn when you first turn it on, I guess it's if it wants you to look at it like this, but I like holding it like this. But you can flip the screen, right? So I'm going to flip the screen and like, oh yeah, look. You know, oh, what's in here? What's inside of the box? Oh, look, it's instructions. You know, it's surprisingly very, very clear. Pretty impressed with it. And it even comes with like a, with um, little things to hold it. You can put it at the end of the, at the end of the camera, like a hook or a magnet. If you drop something in, you know, some, re the recesses of the car somewhere, you can try to, get, you can get it and retrieve it with that. For $20, I think that's a fantastic deal. Uh, rechargeable, comes with, comes with a, you know, charging cable. Here's the little, the tools that it comes with. But for twenty dollars, what the thing that I like most about that is that for twenty dollars, this is not a tool. This is not a tool that, that that I'm gonna use a lot. But when you need it, you need it. And I'd I'd rather have. It, it's a lot easier to spend nineteen ninety nine on a tool that's a pretty specialty tool that you're not gonna use a whole lot than you know spending hundred, hundred fifty, two hundred dollars on one and never use it in your life. I'm happy to, to spend twenty bucks on something that's just gonna sit on the shelf forever and know that I have it there just in case. And I'm pretty impressed with this one honestly. I do recommend it. Thumbs up, goodbye. Now the last the last tool here is is it, it was the most expensive. I think uh thirty six ninety nine I paid for this. It's something that I mean it's it's honestly it's kinda like that that endoscope. Something that you don't want to spend a whole lot of I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on it because I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I'm really happy I have it. I've always wanted one and it's a, it's a battery cable crimper. So, so $36.99, you get this really good, I mean, there's almost no wiggle in these, in these cable cutters. And what's good about them, I like, I like the, the hook design because a lot of times when you're trying to cut thick, a thick gauge wire, it'll slip out on you with that. It kind of keeps it, it keeps it in, in, in the cutting area so you can clip it out. You get, you know, end, end terminals. And then this right here, adjustable. So right now it's at 50 millimeter. If you want to do six millimeter, bring it up there, push down and adjust it. And that's the, that's the six millimeter, six millimeter die or whatever you call it. You just kind of, you know, crimp it. Really, really happy to have this. I always wanted one. Now I don't have to, you know, go somewhere else if I want to make a battery cable or order a brand new battery cable. I can make one because I'm a man now. I can, I can crimp battery terminals. So this was awesome. And it was the most expensive, like I said, but these things are pretty expensive. But for $36.99, $36 again, I, I can't complain. Even if I never use it in my life, it feels good to have one on the shelf. So that's what I got for $200 from Timu, tell me what you guys think. I honestly really enjoyed doing this. All these things, I was honestly very impressed with. I was thinking it was gonna be a whole lot more things that I was disappointed with, but it's honestly very, very little. I'm gonna, I'm honestly gonna mess with, I'm gonna mess with those, 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 those soldering, you know, terminals. See if I did it wrong or if there's some kind of trick to it. Maybe, I, you know, maybe I need to use a, uh, what's that stuff called, the uh, resin, soldering resin? Maybe I need to use that and that'll, that'll, that'll help it. But either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. If you guys want me to do more, or you want me to buy something that's more expensive at Timu that you have seen at Timu that you want me to check out and test and tell me or tell you if it's worth it or not, let me know. And uh, and yeah, we'll do it. I had a lot of fun doing it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Discord.gg/feed. Go to collectorcarfee.com. Check out all your all your collector car feed needs. And uh, yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.